Number 59 asks us to suppose you have $7.80 in dimes and quarters. How many of each coin do you have if you have twice as many quarters as dimes? I do not have enough room to work that out here, so I'm going to use a piece of notebook paper. So for 59, I'm going to use dimes and quarters. Since it says, suppose you have $7.80 in dimes and quarters, how many of each coin do you have if you have twice as many quarters as dimes? I know the least amount about dimes, so that is my x. Twice means to multiply times 2. A dime is worth 10 cents, while a quarter is worth 25 cents. If I make my little chart, I then multiply and I get 0.10x for my dimes and 0.50x for my quarters. Add that together, 0.10x plus 0.50x and set it equal to my $7.80. Well, 0.10 plus 0.5 is 0.6x. And then all I have to do is divide by 0.60 and x would equal 13. That gives me 13 dimes, and 2 times 13 gives me 26 quarters. So again, that is 13 dimes and 26 quarters. Number 60 says the product of a number x and 6 product means to multiply, so 6 times x, is greater than the number x minus 8. Find the solution set. To find the solution set, I need to collect like terms onto one side, giving me 5x is greater than negative 8. They are multiplying by 5, therefore I'm going to divide by 5, and x is going to be greater than negative 8 fifths. Good luck on your final exam. If you need me, please contact me.